dubscupseries.com. Everybody. Um, first off, I want to apologize for any weird lighting. I've noticed this when I film it like this, it is kind of weird. But welcome to the SDS pre race show for the Xfinity race at Talladega this weekend. A couple pre race shows that I'm filming tonight, probably just going to premiere them on Friday and Saturday. Um, I'm laughing. Or, um, Brandon Brown just totally owned a guy who called uh, called out, um, or Bubba Wallace said, and saying his you know, wind doesn't count or whatever. Brandon Brown just owned that guy this afternoon on Twitter. So that was hilarious. Um, I, I really like Brandon Brown now, um, but anyway, we'll go over the weekend schedule and standings, and I'll give my pick on who I think will win this weekend at Talladega. Um, so let's look at the schedule. No practice this week, except for ARCA, um, which they are racing Saturday, uh, 250 miles, 94 laps at one Eastern on FS1 and MRN. If y'all want to watch that, I'll be gone from tomorrow night till about Sunday afternoon. So uh, Xfinity post race show probably going to be a little late. Cup pre race show though hopefully will be semi on time anyway. Um, but yeah, schedule uh, qualifying is for the Xfinity series is tomorrow. So there's a little action tomorrow on TV at least on FS1 at 5:30 Eastern. Probably 6:30 or so is when that will be um, done. And then race day is on Fox at 3 Eastern. And then at 4 Eastern on Fox is the Ag Pro 300 race, 113 laps, 300 miles. Big race. Every race on Fox for NASCAR is big, but especially for the lower series. This is why I always want the truck race at Talladega in the fall to be on Fox. Um, sometimes there's college football or, or something else that, that means it can't be on normal uh, big Fox and has to go to FS1. But, um, you know, we saw trucks pull in a bunch of viewers at Bristol Dirt. I don't know why they won't put them on Fox, but in my opinion, every afternoon race for every series should be on Fox. Um, it should probably leave trucks in FS1 since they got their Friday night thing, but if there's really nothing else going on, if there's no baseball on Fox, which usually that gets pushed to FS1, um, maybe college football, I understand that, um, in, in the fall, but then it's on NBC, and the only football on NBC is Notre Dame. Surely you can work around that. Um, I don't know. I just feel like there should be more lower series races on, on broadcast TV, on network television, set of cable, but oh well. It's still a big race for that reason. It's a big race in general. It's a dash for cash race, a race where we could see a Cinderella story or an underdog win. Um, so let's take a look at these standings real quick. Standing, standings. NASCAR Xfinity Series. Last weekend, the first weekend with no Xfinity race all year. This will be race number nine, and A.J. Allmendinger leads the points by 20 over Ty Gibbs, who might be NASCAR's new most hated driver, more so than, than Denny Hamlin or Kyle Busch right now. Noah Gregson, third in points. Brandon Jones, fourth in points. Um, those four guys are the only drivers locked in, along with Austin Hill, who's down in 10th. Uh, Cole Custer also won, but obviously he's in the Cup Series. He's not running for points in Xfinity, though he might be better off doing that, honestly. Um Josh Berry, fifth in points. Then Sam Mayer, Justin Allgaier, Daniel Hemrick, who I don't know if you could say he's struggling, but he's not doing as well as I thought he would. Ryan Sieg, ninth in points. Austin Hill, tenth, like I said. Riley Herbst, eleventh. And then Landon Castle, 15 points above Anthony Alfredo, who has kind of worked his way back in the playoff picture. Then you got Brandon Brown, uh, the last who won at Talladega last time. 14th in points. Sheldon Creed, kind of the opposite of Anthony Alfredo. He has fallen out of the playoff picture. Um, and then you have, let's see here, you have uh, Brett Moffitt, who is 17th, Jim, uh, Jeremy Clements, Alex LeBay, Mike Snyder, J.J. Yaley, and all the rest. So the standings right now, the one thing that stands out to me is that Hemrick is kind of far down, the, the last year's champion. And um, I, this is going to be just like it was with Sindrick and Almendinger. 
I think it's going to be a big battle between Almendinger and Gibbs for this regular season crown. Noah Gregson could work his way in there. Heck, if Brandon Jones starts running a little better, he could work his way up there. Um, but yeah, AJ Almendinger has been the best driver in the series consistency wise. Gibbs might have a little more raw talent, but uh, AJ has a top 10 in every single race this year. I, I, I'm going to look up his average finish actually. Um, because I, I want to see, obviously it's in the 10, or uh, under 10, but I just want to see his average finish here. Um, let's see, average finish this year is 4.5. That is ridiculous. That is like Kale Yarbrough, mid-70s level, Jeff Gordon, 2007 level, um, average finish level. That is just that's insane. He's having the best Xfinity season and really NASCAR season, at least start to a season we've seen. Obviously, you don't want to peak too early. Um, and he has not a ton of laps. He, he he has only, you know, just had the one win at Coda. Um, um, but, yeah, I'm picking him to win this weekend. He himself might not be the best super speedway driver always, but he always in, is in a position. Obviously, Colleg has been the best team on uh, plate tracks or on super speedways in Xfinity. Maybe even in NASCAR as a whole, um, it's kind of like watching DEI in the early to mid two thousands. They're just dominating. You know, Dustin Haley kind of had a Dale Jr. streak there going, where he just win every single uh, plate race imaginable, and and his you know whoever be in the ten or the sixteen, they were also running up front. Um, so yeah, I think uh, Dinger's going to win this race. Ty Gibbs was running really well, really well at Daytona before he faded back to like thirteenth in the first race of the year. Look out for him. Uh, Justin Allgaier is usually up front at the end of these things. Brandon Jones finished second in the fall race year. Um, and then Brandon uh, Brown, obviously, last year's fall Talladega winner. Jeb Burton, where is he in the points? He is 16th. He could really use a good run or a win. He won this race, be it, you know, I'll be at a rain shortened race, but he won this race uh, last year in the spring. And then you have Jeffrey Earnhardt running the three with Larry Mack as the crew chief. That might be the biggest story of the weekend. Um Maybe even in the whole sport, not just the Xfinity series, but it'll be cool to see Larry Mack back on the box. It'll be cool to see a three driven by an Earnhardt uh, by RCR um, at the track. So um, at Talladega, you know, I, I kind of wish it was in the fall race, but hey, hey, that that's okay. You know, um, Jeffrey Earnhardt is actually, where is he in the points? Uh, he's 33rd, but, you know, he's not running every race this year. Obviously, he's only made um, four starts. Um, yeah, but I just wanted to bring that up. That that's a really cool thing. So I think AJ Allmendinger is going to get this win. Um, I think maybe top five: Brandon Jones, Brandon Brown, Justin Allgaier, and Castle. Maybe he had a really good run here in the fall of 2014, the Cup Series. I remember that um, vividly because I was at that race. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, I don't know about Daniel Hemrick. I don't think he's the best plate racer. But um, that those college cars, man, they are just something different on Super Speedway. So we'll see what he does. But um, I think that's about all I got. If you like this video, make sure to uh, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, and uh, share the um, this video and the channel with your friends, family, or anyone you know who like NASCAR. I put out three videos about Talladega this week that you can go check out as well. Cut pre-race show uh, will premiere tomorrow, probably on Saturday. Hopefully, this will be premiering Friday. And Xfinity post race probably going to be a little bit late, um, but I'll hopefully get that out Sunday or Monday and then cut post race. Um, a lot of stuff going on this week with school and family here and stuff, but hopefully I'll get that out at a reasonable time this week later too. So uh, see you all tomorrow for the Cup Career Show. Thank you for watching. I am Samuel Stubbs from StubbsCupSeries.com. God bless. Peace out. Bye. Subscribe. Here's a point. 7,000 RPM, where everything fades, the machine becomes weightless, just disappears, and all that's left is a body moving through space and time. 7,000 RPM, that's where you need it. You feel it coming, creeps up on you close in your ear.